So the big news, of course, this week is the kitchen finally arrived. We ordered it, I think, two and a half years ago and uh, thought it would be in by the end of that year. But uh, yeah, well, doing things yourself, things take a little bit longer, but it was worth the wait. Uh, so yeah, might as well give it now a tour. So it's just cream fronts, or kind of vanilla fronts, uh, look-alike oak tops. They're not, it's not solid oak, can't afford that. Uh, but all the mod cons, even though it's kind of a country style, so you know the dishwasher is built in, old style sink. Actually, we wanted a double sink, but the one we ordered doesn't exist anymore. Uh, and then my pride and joy, finally a, a massive fridge. So what I've been saying is down the bottom is um, kind of this cool zone at zero degrees for keeping meat and vegetables fresh. And that means that the rest is for beer and cheese and a top bit for pizza. That'll do me. Uh, induction hob, so pretty wide, 90 centimeters, fairly basic oven. And uh, yeah, lots of drawers. So you've got to figure out where we're going to keep food and stuff. So it looks like it's massive, but um, storage space wise, there's not a lot of kind of presses or stuff like that. Uh, but I kind of think that's the way kitchens seem to go these days. Uh, lots of drawers, we can keep things in there and some nice inserts for the knives and stuff. So I'm very pleased. It's a huge milestone. Um, it's a bit bare looking maybe, so we still have to do the uh, backsplash or splash back. I'm never sure what it's called. And uh, we're trying to decide what to do there, whether something like glass or maybe use similar tiles to the floor to carry that up onto the wall. And of course, lighting needs to be done. So we get kind of a, uh, not a rail system, but a cable system for LED uh, kind of spots. Uh, we kind of anchor here and go down the middle of this side. And then uh, another one here where that cable is there, uh, just for that area. And then I've already wired it up for spotlights that we can maybe tilt at that end. And then uh, under the counter, so I've got an LED uh, kind of strip there that would mount underneath the cabinet and I need to get a, a wider one for here as well and that'll be it really um, and for the rest of the room uh, the walls are kind of bare so once you put up shelves or any kind of stuff I have some ideas to reuse some old planks and stuff that we have in the barn that are really nice and uh, some ideas things that we can build to make it a bit more kind of homely looking a uh, table and chairs whatever here so yeah, that's the, that's the big news, but uh, meanwhile we've been busy doing all sorts of other things. So yesterday the living room got the first coat of paint, uh, which is, uh, okay, the color's not showing up very well in the video, whatever the lighting is, oh, that's better. So it's, um, yeah, it's a brownish, but it's very kind of warm, there's a slight, um, slight orange tint. It's Curcuma no uh, 90, Noinsic. Um which are very warm and inviting and really matches the oak beams really well. So it's very pleasing. The flooring is coming this coming week. Um, so Wednesday or so, I hope the floors will be delivered. And then we got to start thinking about uh, how to get them down. Of course, the bathroom still needs to be done, but at least now we've ordered the shower base. And uh, once that's in, then we can get the tiling done and get the floor in and uh, yeah, we can start thinking about moving in. But it hasn't been uh, all just painting and stuff. So uh, I think in the last video, when we looked into this room, we thought this is where we put our bedroom. And um, I think this side was kind of done. And I said that we need to do some clay plastering here, which I did. Uh, so all the clay plastering is now done here. You can still see that it's drying out. And that wall there. And then Spent a couple of hours doing kind of little detail stuff here. There's kind of gaps above the, the beams and uh, we're trying to think what's the best way of dealing with that. So we had these old terracotta tiles that actually used to be the floor in this room. This was a, a grain storage room um, when it was a, an active farm and it was uh, fully paved with um, kind of clay underneath. And then these uh, raw unglazed terracotta tiles, which we collected and kept in the barn for using somewhere else. But there was lots of broken ones and uh, we basically used, reused the broken ones to fill these gaps with some uh, kind of white mortar. So when ceilings are painted, which we can do soon, uh, that should look really nice. 
Um, so other things that have to be finished here is just the skimming on the plaster boards, filling and skimming. And then I was here till late last night, finally uh, closing off uh, this part onto the eaves. So last time this was all open, you could see right down to the corner. So the under construction is done. OSB sheets uh, closing off that and uh, yeah the sides of the, the dormer window all done still have to figure out some things because every dormer window will be coming here uh, you can see up into the next floor um, so just had to figure out what's the best way of closing that off so uh, but it's all very low I mean if I walk forward uh, this is my top of my head height so Things are quite low, whether they're smaller people or what, I don't know. But uh, we're small, so it's okay. So yeah, maybe maybe it's a bit foolish to, to try and get all this also done before we move in, but yeah, I don't think it's too much work. I'd say by the end of the week, we'll be, we'll be done with that and it'll be hopefully ready to paint. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> 